Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Israeli forces have shot dead an Al Jazeera journalist called Shireen Abu Akli in the occupied West Bank. If that's not horrific and sickening enough, reports say that Akli was wearing a press vest. And this is not the first time this has happened. This is the most recent one. And Western countries like the US and UK are complicit in these crimes. How so? Well, just one example. In 2020, the UK and Israel signed a military cooperation agreement, but the British public is not allowed to know what it entails. So much for democracy and transparency from the government. It seems whenever there is something shady going on, High security is mentioned and we're expected to shut up. And you know what? Let's have a look at the shameless and biased way that media organizations like the the New York Times. Let's do six spot the differences here. Yeah. So you've got the New York Times and you've got Al Jazeera. Well, number one, if you look at New York Post, they show the photo of other people rather than the victim they say was killed, hiding the perpetrators, who are of course the Israeli forces, they legitimize it by saying clashes with gunmen, when it was a raid. They use neutral terms like Israeli forces instead of Israeli occupation forces. And lastly, they say Al Jazeera said, instead of Palestinian health minister said. May Allah protect our brothers and sisters there, give them justice and not make us blind to their plight. Ameen.